Hi, it's Joanne from Joanne's Doggy Schmacks, and today it's all about the schnauzer. Uh, we'll be making dog treats, super healthy for your dogs, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, dried cranberries and dried blueberries, all sorts of good things in them. But I'm having fun because I have standard schnauzers and I've never used my standard schnauzer cookie cutter. Partly the reason was because my cookie cutter, the schnauzer doesn't have uh, much of a tail. He or she does have a tail, but it's been uh, docked. Is that the right word? Docked or cropped? Docked. Okay. I took the liberty of crafting some tails on my schnauzers. So now I'm having some fun. So let me tell you quickie before we get started the tale of this little schnauzer. I went to the Pasadena uh, thrift sale, whatever it's called, that huge Pasadena fair at the Rose Bowl with a friend and I forgot my purse, I forgot my money, everything. She said, don't worry about it. I'll get you whatever you want. I saw this little guy hanging in a stall and I said, get me that, I want him. And she said, I'm not getting you that. So I was really bummed. I didn't get him, but I went online and I found him on the internet. Got my schnauzer, got my schnauzer, got my schnauzer. So let's put him down and get started. If he'll go down without falling, yes. Okay, we have healthy buckwheat flour. This is two cups. We're gonna be making a lot of these schnauzers. And to that, I am going to add whole oats, and these are one minute oats. Put those in there. We're gonna add flax meal. Flax meal holds this together. It also makes it somewhat of a difficult dough to work with, I'm warning you in advance, but I think I've mastered it. We're going to stir this up a bit. And I'm not really adding too many extras in terms of flavor because the blueberries and cranberries add so much flavor themselves. And stir that up a bit. And it's nice to add them while you still have uh, your dry ingredients because it is easier to separate the little chopped up bits. And how much of this did I put in? I'm sorry, I put in a quarter cup of blueberries and a quarter cup of cranberries. No sugar in either one and chopped as small as you can because when you use your cookie cutter, you have little areas like this and the berries can get stuck in there. Next, we are going to add eighth of a cup of maple syrup. Didn't know that it had cancer fighting properties. I'm so in love with maple syrup. Now, uh, definitely don't get the phony stuff. Has to be real maple syrup, nothing added. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil took the liberty of measuring in advance. Two eggs. <laughs> my crew is watching my every move. There we go. And then here's the tricky part. I have written down add a cup of water. Sometimes a cup of water is perfect. I made this recipe three times already, guys. Sometimes a cup of water is perfect and sometimes it's not. So what I might do is add a little less than the whole cup and segment this dough and work with it uh, that way because the oats have a habit of soaking up the liquid. So you start with a dough that seems perfect and as it sits, it gets wetter and wetter and wetter. If you have a, a simple cookie cutter, that's probably not a problem. But these little guys are hard to get out um, of the cookie cutter. Right here, you have to like gently put your finger in here or you somewhat remove the head of your schnauzer, which you don't want to do. Or you could lo lose a foot or a tail. So let's do three quarters of this and save a quarter and see what happens. Okay, I think at this point I'm going to switch to my spoon. There we go. 
Yeah, see, that looks pretty good already. And it's not raining today, and we, well, it was raining. Now the sun's out. Uh, that's why Tori is a little bit wet. Uh, we had about a week and a half of rain when I was making these, and it's just crazy how it influences everything. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Push it down a little bit. Mm. I did leave out some oat flour also in case I need to dust the board. It's very, you can see, look, when I'm massaging this, you have this whole dry area, and then the outside is wet where your hands have been. So kind of flip it around and pull it apart and see if you can get the moisture evenly distributed. Okay, so that looks good, but to be honest, it feels wet. So I am going to tell my little guy not to eat my cookies. They look like you, little man. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the board. I hear Tori in the other room playing with something. I can't even imagine what. <laughs> it's like, what have I forgotten to pick up? Oh no, I can't go look now. All right, that sounds good. And we're gonna roll that out. This is the heavy hitter. Oh yeah, that looks great. Wow, and I left a quarter cup of water over there. Okay, so I'll probably amend the recipe because it's easier to add more water than take it away. Yep, and I still have to put oat flour on here. There we go. And hopefully I can flip this because that's a lot of oat flour. I think I went a little bit crazy there. I think if I had my little spatula, it would be wonderful, and I don't. So you know what, let's just roll this up again. It's starting to grab onto all that liquid, it's crazy. Okay, so let's do what I said I was gonna do. Let's separate this and try this. It's like a creature from another planet. It just gets wetter and wetter. It's like, yes, I'm perfect dough. Now I'm not. Okay, a little bit more. All right, let's quick get these cookies cut. Except there's no quick cutting with these Chanel's root cutters. But I do want to show you how I made the tail because it was pretty fun. Okay, we all know how to use a cookie cutter, so. There's my little dude, we'll call him Jake. Okay, so right there, his little head wanted to come up without the rest of his body, and you can't do that. Thankfully, I have fairly small fingers, so put my finger in there. And he does have a little bit of a cranberry crown on his head. Um, but there he is. Uh, it, you will excuse me for a minute. I do have to get my spatula. Okay, here we go. We have puppy number one. Let's make some room here. And I'm going to wipe my hands a little bit because we're about to see some art. A tail. I'd say Jake's tail is most like this one. Sometimes it's like this and sometimes it's like that, but mostly like this. So what I did was took a little bit of dough without too much of the burry, ro rolled it, and then attached it. <laughs> His tail needs a trim. 
It's a little bit furry. But I felt the possibility is kind of cool for future cookies too. All right, so that's Jake with a tail. And we'll just do one that's just regular and then I'll get them in the oven. Oh, preheat your oven to 350. And you're gonna cook them for 20 minutes, I think. Yep, 20 minutes. Oh no, don't do that, don't. Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill, remember that TV show? <gasps> Look what I did to his head. I wasn't paying attention. He looks like a giraffe. Oh my goodness, let's do a different one. Okay, that's what I mean about they take time and as you're taking your time, cutting out your cookies, your dough is getting wetter and wetter. So just have your oat flour handy. So I gently poke the head, this part, the, the vulnerable neck, come down to the feet. And last but not least, get that tail. And there you have them. Okay, we don't like that bit though, we'll get rid of that. All right, it's a little bit time consuming this one. The dogs love it. If the dogs didn't love it so much, I might have done a different recipe, but they go crazy for this one. They beg for it, whimper. So I'm gonna put these in the oven after I make them and I'll be right back. And here we have them. Our cranberry blueberry schnauzers. They don't have to be schnauzers, I should emphasize. Uh, whatever your favorite breed is, you can choose that for your cookie. Doesn't even have to be a dog. I just happen to be in the mood to finally, after 20 plus episodes on YouTube, make a schnauzer cookie. Um, Want to mention that the oven should be at 350. I think I said that already. Um, and uh, bake for 20 minutes, but I'd almost forgotten. I flip them, turn the oven off, and let them sit for five more minutes just to get them equally brown on both sides. So, little Miss Tori has gone off for a nap. So I'm going to have to trust Jake's wisdom here. Jake, I think I'm gonna have to give you the cookie that has the tail. And this is called a sickle tail because it curves, well actually curves like that. <gasps> He's already doing it. Pretty. I don't even have to say it. Come over here. I think it's called offering. And you are just so adorable. I can't stand it. <laughs> I love watching him eat. His eyes go like this. You ready? One more piece? How about if you give me your paw? Do we have this down yet? Well, <laughs> there you go. Good boy. All right, you wanna say goodbye? Let's say goodbye. You can put your feet up, but be careful. Come here, put your feet up. No? Come on, we're saying goodbye. Come on, up, 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 up. No, he's too busy eating. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next episode. Uh, subscribe, that would be great. Uh, give us a like, thanks. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to Carol and Ed, who are fans of this channel, fans of schnauzers in general, and have been a great guide to me in uh, grooming and oh, careful and training my schnauzers uh, for the last uh, 15 years. So thank you.